Hello friends, welcome to a new video. Today I want to make a quick movie review. Um, I'm going to start doing some quick reviews, so let me know if you like them or what movies you want me to review. So today we'll be reviewing Mothra. This is a Toho production uh, movie. A Toho movie production. This is a 1961 movie. And I bought the, the steelbook. I did the unboxing, so I'll be showing up here if you want to see the unboxing. So quick review. This movie is about a island. It's called, oh, what was that island called? I forgot the name of the island. But the, they go to an island. There's a storm in the beginning. They go to an island. And some uh, sailors survive for however long it took them to go get rescued. Upon coming back, they noticed that they had no radiation, so they went to investigate further. Well, on that island, there was like a secret native population with um, two different like species, some regular humans and then some really tiny humans, which are the very iconic little uh, two ladies that always show up, or not always, but they show up with Mothra. So they get kidnapped, taken back, stuff happens, then Mothra comes out. Mothra is this monster that is more like a hero in the Godzilla series of movies. And stuff happens, Mothra gets there, she evolves, and I'll leave it for you to watch it. Overall, the story is pretty pretty cool. What it means like nowadays, with all the you know contamination, pollution, and everything, it's a really cool story talking about how we can destroy some areas and go into some areas and take species out it, it's that's the whole premise we're talking about 1961 so it's still up to date the special effects and all that stuff was really cool um, you can tell it's dated think about it it's 1961 it's the japanese style so don't expect really cool uh, graphics i watched this movie when i was a little kid and i really liked all the little special effects and stuff nowadays it's a little bit dated but overall it's still pretty pretty nifty to see that uh, cgi not cgi the special effects not cgi absolutely not so uh this one i watched the japanese version with the english subtitles which has 11 minutes more uh film so the english version is 90 minutes and the Japanese is 101 minutes. Uh, it does bring one with the English audio. I did not watch it with the English audio. I watched it with the original Japanese and the English subtitles. So some of the translation may be lost. I don't know Japanese. So that's something I probably want to start learning. Overall, Mothra is, I think, like the second most famous uh, Japanese monster behind Godzilla from the same universe. Uh, there's, She's been in about more than 12 movies that I know of. I know there was uh, one movie where it's like Godzilla versus Mothra. The newest Godzilla movie has Mothra in it. So if you wanna know more about Mothra or a little bit interested in that monster, why it was in, in the movie, then you should start watching some of the Mothra movies. I will start with this one, absolutely start with this one. Then you will get an understanding of what Mothra means to that universe. Overall, I will recommend this movie, especially when uh, the Criterion Spine 1000 is coming out with uh, Godzilla, which I'll le leave a link so you can look at it. So Criterion is coming out with a lot of the Godzilla movies. So you should start watching some of these uh, and then get a hang of what's going on there. And then that way you will know, yes, you know what? I will buy that or I'll skip it, okay? So overall, I recommend this movie. It's, it was, it was, it's fun. It still is fun. It's a pretty cool movie. Um, don't go in it thinking it's going to be an action pack. Just think about it like a, a cool Saturday watch and enjoy it. Learn some about something about Mothra and overall just enjoy the movie. Cool movie to have, cool movie to own. All right. Well, that is it for today, guys. I recommend Mothra. Um, go give it a watch. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Let me know if you want to hear some reviews of the other movies that I own. 
just, uh, just leave it in the comments. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.